Hi everybody. It's another Friday again. This one, uh, the next to the last Friday, I think. Next week is our last full week of class and then we just have a half a week. So it's winding up. That's a good thing. Hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, some of you have kept in really close contact with me, letting me know how things are going for you, and I appreciate that very much. So it gives me a sense of what's happening out there for you all. I am going to, uh, when I send you the email Sunday night like I do with the week schedule, I'm going to put a link to a quickie two-question Google Docs survey that I'd like for you to fill out. The first question is um, just kind of a general, what are you needing right now, either from me, for academics, or just kind of tell me how you're doing. Um, what are you needing right now? And then the second question I'm going to ask is ask me anything. And that's meant to be just kind of the part engagement, part give people a chance to anonymously ask questions that maybe they don't feel comfortable asking. Uh, maybe it's about psychology or coursework. You can ask me anything. What kind of treats do my dogs like? Uh, what color is my house? You know, it, really anything, anything at all. So I will put that in Sunday night's email along with the schedule for the next week. Also in that schedule is going to be information about the alternative final that I'm offering um, to you. I am finalizing that this weekend and I will put all the information. You will have enough time to do it because finals start not next week, but the following week late, but I'm going to give extension. You know, the day that our final is scheduled is not going to be necessarily the day it's all due unless it's the last day of finals. I don't know if there's any of my classes. So you'll have enough time to do it is the bottom line. You do not have to let me know if you want to take the actual final exam or if you want to do the alternative. The, the final will be available um, through Blackboard like all the other exams have. So if that's what you want to do, that's totally fine. So, okay. What else did I want to talk about? Um, I think those were the main like businessy kinds of things. Still working on grades. Some of you have asked about extra credit and a couple classes I've added those in. I am truly working on that stuff. Um, so I appreciate your grace and patience with all that. So I was thinking today, you know, I was thinking about um, kind of after this is over. And of course, we don't know if I don't know if you listen to our, our governor's press conferences every day. They're going to try and start things moving slowly May 1st. I think it bodes well for being able to return to campus in the fall and not do online classes, but I don't know that for sure. The administration isn't making a decision. We can't make a decision on that now. It's just too early. So we will know, um, we will know about that. But I was thinking about, you know, kind of the things I'd miss. I'm curious what kinds of things you miss during this time. I miss, I'm just going to be honest, my hair salon. Uh, anybody need a haircut but me? It's about getting to the point where, you know how um, when you get a piece of knock knock down furniture, you get like a little marker to fill in the dents. Well, I'm about ready to start doing that with some places. So hopefully that will that will change soon. Uh, I miss going out to eat. I have celiac disease. I don't know if many of you knew that. So I'm gluten free. So there are really certain restaurants that I'm missing very much. I miss the gyms being open, not for me, because that's not part of my life. I wish it was, but it's not. But it is for my son. He was supposed to play in a spring. He made a travel team for basketball and was so excited about it. And of course, it's canceled. But they uh, are going to try and push it into the summer. So he just miss, misses being able to go to the gym and, and shoot around and practice. I miss being able to see my friends. Probably a lot of you are the same. I miss having a time when I did not feel like I needed to have a snack every 10 minutes. Yeah, that's going to be an issue when this is over. Uh, I miss you guys. I miss my colleagues. I love my job at Muskingum. This um, uh, no face-to-face -face contact is not for me. I think, if it, well, I know if I had to go on longer doing this, I would come up with different platforms and different technologies to make more in-person classes, but I've just been doing the best I can just for this emergency. We have to keep this in mind. We are surviving an emergency here. And I also wanted to say a little bit about that just for some encouragement. I'm not going to get too TMI here, but uh, I, I'm older than you guys. I've had more experience than you guys. 
and I have lived through some hard, hard things, things that I really wasn't sure my broken heart was going to survive. Hard. This is not the hardest. Uh, for some of you, it may be the hardest thing you've ever gone through, and I'm, I'm sorry for that, and I'm sorry for those of you that this is not the hardest thing. But what I can tell you, after surviving lots of things, I really just wasn't sure I'd be able to, you know, I, I just didn't, I just, I didn't know how I was going to get through that time. You will look back on this time, I guarantee you, and say, wow, you'll be impressed with yourself that you got through this. And maybe you get through it okay, maybe you get through it well, maybe you just get through it. It doesn't matter. That's really the point is to, to, to just get through it and you may sur surprise yourself. So be encouraged. You will get through this. I promise we will get through this. Life will resume to some extent to normal and we'll be okay. Um, okay, I guess the only other last thing I wanted to say is if you want to send me a pet picture, and I've gotten all kinds of interesting things, snakes, bearded dragons, lots of dogs and cats, a raccoon. Uh, the person that sent me a snake picture, I emailed her back and I said I should deduct points from your grade because of that, because you all know how I feel about snakes. I'm kidding, but send me pictures. If you do not have pets, send me a meme that's psychology related. And remember, that's for a few points of extra credit. Do that soon, this weekend, because I'm going to put collages together and put them on social media. And hopefully the guy who's in charge of Mus um, the Muskingum social media um, will show them. I have a feeling they will. So I think that's about it for this week. Uh, look for my usual email on Sunday night with the schedule for the week. And let me know about anything you need to contact me about. I am here. Have a good weekend.